Good afternoon. Today we're going to look at running VidSim and we're going to follow along with the tutorial that we were looking at that's loaded on your Blackboard site. Through that, when you load up VidSim and you follow your path to the tutorial files that are saved on your computer and automatically installed, when you open that first uh, tutorial, which is called Headquarters 04 1, it should look like this. And you can drive around in the window just like you do in AutoCAD. If you hold down your uh, center wheel, it will pan back and forth. If you zoom in and out with the wheel, you move it, uh, the wheel forward and back, and it zooms in and out through that. So this is our network. And so real quick to get started over here is our network objects. To activate an object and start working with it, you have to click on it. And so if we want to do conflict areas, we click there. If we want to do signal heads, you click there. This is links. Links will get us started through that. Everything in Visim, if you want to add anything, pretty much, you have to hold down the control key and then the right uh, mouse button. So control, right, click for everything. So if I hold down control and then right click, and I'm, I've got links activated. So if I hold control, right click, while that's activated, I can create a link. And there's my link. And we're done. Just pull up. Now it's going to tell you or ask you what kind of a link it is. And this width right now is in meters. And so we're going to leave that alone. You can change it. You can change what kind of a road it is and what you want to look like and all that jazz over here. If you want to do that, we're just going to leave this in the base situation. And so there, there's our link. Right. If you want to pan down a little bit so you can see this guy. Let's zoom out. We can just extend it. Just grab that point there and bring him all up to, to B. If you click on this, activate it, turns yellow, right click. Down here, there's a generate opposite direction. Click that. How many lanes in the opposite direction do we want? Well, let's just do one. And so if we click on this guy, this guy created, you can see it just made a new lane for us going the opposite way because it knows that most roads are two-way and it can automatically create that. And I'm just going to move this guy up here and that's our going to be our westbound uh, lane then through that. You can also copy a lane if you uh, hold down the uh, control key and pull over. Oops. It creates a copy of your lane. There we go. And this one, this will be our turn lanes. I need to shorten this guy up. So there's our turn lane. There, so that's a left turn, westbound left. It may look like that you've got roads here in the middle. Those are actually tram lines. This is in Germany. Uh, where this is, it's the S-Bahn tram lines there. So don't get confused. We're not going to draw <laughs> roads over the top of those. So this is our, our eastbound. Here's our westbound. Here's our westbound left. Now we need two lanes here. There's, again, railroad tracks down the center for the S-Bahn. And we are still in links. And we are going to do control right click. And we are going to create one lane leaving town, going away, sure, fine. And then we're going to create another lane going up here in that direction. All right. If you activate the lane first and it turns yellow, then you can hold down control, right click. It'll create a spline point, which just is a place that you can bend your lane from. So there we go. I wanted to create another one that's control, right click. Now I've got a spline. I can do crazy stuff out of that. And then control Z gets rid of it. All right. So back to where I was. Uh, movement. And now I need this left turn lane in here. So I'm going to control, right click, and create my next left turn lane. All right. So so now we've got our lanes all in. The next piece uh, to look at is we have to connect these lanes so cars can drive on a lane like that. And how do they get from one road to the other and get onto these lanes down here and so forth. So we need to create, uh, to create a, um, connectors in between these. And if, if these fake roads are annoying you, you can hit Control A and that switches you to the skeleton view. Control A back gives you kind of the supposedly prettier view. Let's go. This one is a little easier to, to tag on to things. And again, you can still click it. It still acts the same way. It just looks a little different uh, through that. So if we want to, if we want to connect 
things up, which again, we're just gonna control right click and now we're connecting two previously created uh, links. And if you're connecting, it turns purple. And so it did. And now that's a straight line. That's gonna be kind of weird. Cars don't really drive that way. And we cut through this building. So we have to add in some spline points and that gives us some curvature. A two point spline is a line but let's give it like a 10 point spline and that should give us a smooth there we go so there's our smooth circle around there and it's got should be 10 segments in there now 10 points along that and it kind of remembers that once you've done it once so if we're connecting this guy he has to come over here it's going to give you automatically a 10 point spline now you can change it if you want you can always double click these later and change stuff if you want so there's one merge here's another one look a little funny we're going through the grass there but yeah, big deal okay and then we're gonna connect this guy all the way down here thank you and that's a through movement he doesn't connect he goes you can turn left you can turn left there you can turn right there i think we've got all of our movements lined up now again the middle piece here is all railroad tracks so we won't be doing anything on that so now we're set up um, but how do uh, we can add a couple things to this? So one thing is we can do a uh, slow down area as cars come around this corner. They're probably going to slow down, right? So that's a reduced speed area. We highlight that over here in network. And now if we do control right click again, we can create a reduced speed area. Hold control right click. That area is slower. It's going to give us an option now of um, what class what vehicle classes are going to go slower so you can add a whole bunch of vehicle classes pedest or, uh, not pedestrians, passenger cars trucks whatever you need so let's do this class um, and what's its desirable speed as it goes around the corner this is in kilometers per hour let's say it's 20 and then let's add another one and you can change what you want in here so that's uh, if we want to just do cars is that and then this is a, um, a larger vehicle, HGV, and we can say he's going to go even slower around that corner. Right. So cars go one speed, trucks go a different speed. So you're going to add, and we can do the same thing over here, control, right click, I'm creating a slow zone. Over here I'm going to add in a car speed, and let's make this one 30 miles or kilometers per hour. Whoops. I clicked off, just double click it, clicked on the wrong thing, there we go, get that guy, there, double click that, we add this in, I want all, no, I want trucks, this is trucks, he's going to go 25, through there, so now we've got slow zones, cars will slow down, vehicles will slow down as they go through that, okay, we've got that, now we've also got to add traffic and tell traffic what to do when it gets places, and so the, to add traffic, we have to, on any of these links, we can pick a point where traffic is entering the system. You can enter a mid block, like if you had a driveway coming out here and they were entering the road, we could add some extra traffic in right there. And typically we're going to add it back here at the beginning of our network. If you've got a big network, adding mid block or, or having a link in here that then merges in would be more common. Um, in this case, this is a pretty small intersection. We're going to add it all back at the beginning. Kind of makes sense back here. So with this vehicle inputs, you highlight that, control, right click. And now we've got uh, vehicles coming in and we can add in uh, some volume of vehicles here. So let's say 800, this is in vehicles per hour, right? What's our composition of vehicles? Well, you can set it up to be any kind of thing. Right now that you have a default one and you have a cars only. But you could set up a composition that's 10% trucks. You could set up a composition that's only 5% trucks and so forth. It depends on your road through there. We're going to use a default one now just to make life easier for us. And so traffic is entering back there. Oh, and I forgot one link here. We need to connect that guy to that guy. So they're coming in a single lane and then he can merge over into that. And now we're going to zoom in here vehicle inputs control right click and there's our our new one and how many people are coming in from this side let's just say it's 400 
just guessing on those numbers. And we have one more entry point, or two more actually, you got two lanes up here. So let's add in some left turn vehicles here. That's 150 people that are turning left. And over here, we're going to add in, well, let's say that's a little busier road. It's 900 vehicles per hour. So now we've got all the cars. So the cars, the VISIM, the model, will now add that many vehicles per hour when it does its simulation. Next thing you gotta tell it is where are all those cars going? Right, up here, these guys can go straight or they can turn right. And then if they turn right, they have to go slow. You have to slow, and then they'll merge over here. And we had, I guess, more or less south off of there. So that's vehicle routes. Let's click on that. And now we can add in a route, and you can make give a decision point anywhere you want uh, within the network right before a turn. You can go as far back as you want, and it'll identify which way cars are going to go a little earlier. I'm not sure it makes a huge difference. I tend to like to put it a little further back. So here's the cars are entering at this point, and here they're going to decide what they're doing. So we add in a link there. And now, so that where they make their decision is purple, and where they're going is turquoise. So these guys, where they're going? Well, let's say they're going to turn right. If I want to go straight, I just hover over the straight path. Here, I'm going to go right. And then they're done making their turn. They're doing their turn movement once they're past that merge. I'm going to click that. And there's that guy. And while I've still got this one highlighted, this merge here highlighted, or this decision point highlighted. Let's give the straight people, straight through people, their decision. All right. So now we've got both paths done. And you can just double click anywhere and then you're done. And now you can see there's a little purple line here and there is a little turquoise line there. That's the end of that decision and here's the end of that decision. If you hover over that, it shows you where they came from in yellow through that. So we have to give people, I have to help them make their decisions. I don't know where they're going. So people coming in here, which route are they going to take? Uh, that's a good question. We, and you can, this one, let's get a little crazy with it. We can make them decide all over. So there's their decision. They're going to decide there, and they're going to go all the way around the corner. All right, so that's a left turn. And then everybody else is going up here and turning left there. So that's that decision point, and they're splitting off in the two directions from there and these people are all going to turn left there's no decision involved in that so we should have I think all the decisions worked out now and now we can we right click over here and do show list show all the static um, routes and so we've got the static routes here so um, and we're done adding so I'm going to double click out here so here's our route sit down here in the table. And how are we going to work on these routes here? So, all right. Let's see, we've got, oops, that route. And now you over here, these, these guys can go this way or that way, right? So this is that left turn. This is the through. What's our relative numbers? going through. If you want four times as many people to go straight, let's turn left. If it's one to one, then it's 50% here and 50% there. Let's say um, twice as many people are going to go straight versus um, people turning, I guess it's right turn. I said left there. So it's a relative flow. It's a weird thing. I don't know why you do it in that, not in percentage, but we just have to work with what we got. So that's that decision. Down here we had another decision. And so if we click on this one, here's this decision. And here's this route. There's that route. What's our relative split? We want it to be equal. People are making it equal. Let's give them a few more left turns because that looks better when we do when we match that up. Okay, so there's our left turn. And now we should be ready to go. We need to save this before we have a problem. And let's call this test one. Okay, 
right, so now we've got everything saved. At this point, we've got traffic assigned. We're telling it where it's to go, where it's going, and we've built our model. We can try to run in it, which is just clicking this up here, and it's working. Right? We've got people driving, and they're driving really fast. And stop simulation. It doesn't let you do much while the simulation is running. And we can change our parameters down here in simulation speed to slow it down so we can watch it better. We can set this down to three through simulation speed. And now if we run it, we can watch it go. And it's running. And now you can watch the traffic as it moves. 